Finding the constant of integration. You will find this on page 318 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Finding the constant of integration, that value of c. If we integrate dy by dx equals 2x, we will get, okay, it's 2 plus 1, so it will be, uh, oh, 1, it's going to be 1 plus 2 divided by 2, so I will get x squared plus that c. By drawing the arbitrary constant c, many graphs can be produced. We call them a family of curves. These curves are all have the same shape. On the right, three of the infinitely many solutions that can be drawn are shown. Given more information about the curve will enable us to find the value of c, the constant of integration, and hence the, the whole equation of a particular curve. So if the value of c, it will cut there, if it's 5. If, there's no, if the value of c is 0, it will cut at the origin. And if the value of c is negative 4, it will cut there. Okay, but let's look at an example. The gradient of a curve is given by, okay, this, this is the derivative function. Given that the curve passes through the point 1 and 2, so if we give extra information, we can find that value of c. Find the equation of the curve. Okay, first step, integrate. Okay, then as soon as we integrate it, this is going to be the equation. Now, since the curve passes through this point, I'm just going to substitute that point in the integrated function. And then I get the value of c, and then I just replace it there. And there will be the 100% correct curve. Okay, not very difficult. I want you to do number 1a, and then I also want you to do 2. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. 1a In the following problems, the gradient function of a curve is given together with the coordinates of the point on the curve. Find the equation of the curve in each case. So basically, that function that they gave you is dx by d, dy by dx. So if I'm going to, if I'm going to say so, therefore, y will be is if I integrate this function. And that will give me y equals 6x, it's 1 plus 1, it's 2 over 2 plus c, which will give me 3x squared plus c. And now I know that the point is going to be 1 and 4. So if the point is 1 and 4, I'm going to substitute it in that equation. So substitute. One and four, and that will in the this. Remember, this is x. This is y. So in the place of y, I'm going to put the four, and in the place of x, I'm going to put one. So I'm going to say therefore, the formula will be y equals, substitute it back there, the value of c, and that will be your final formula. Okay, let's do number two. I'm first going to make space, but then I'm also going to move it a little bit up. Now I realize that maybe it was difficult for you to do number two, because you could not see this on the video. So you can now stop the video and try to do two, and then as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, but let's start with number two. The gradient of the curve at the point x, y is given by, okay? So 
don't forget that dy by dx, that's the derivative function, is 7 minus 5x squared. And the curve passes through the point, so don't forget, we will now bring in the point. So, basically, find the equation of the curve. If I'm going to find, I'm just going to say first, before I'm going to, I'm just going to multiply out that bracket. So, 7 times 7, I'm doing the short way, otherwise just write the two brackets out and multiply. But I like in the, on this level that you are also able to do the short way. So, I square the first term. 7 times 7 is 49. I multiply this two with each other and then by two. So seven times five, uh, seven times negative five x is negative thirty five x times two. It's negative seventy x. And then I'm going to say negative five times negative five. So it's plus twenty five x squared. Okay, so that is. Now, I'm going to say to find y, I'm going to integrate that 49 minus 70x plus 25x squared, and I'm integrating to x. Always, if you write the integral sign, you'll show to where you integrate. Okay, and now, if I integrate... I'm going to get y is equal, if there's just a constant, the, the x is coming in, can you remember from previous videos, then this will be, um, this will be, I'm going to first write it, 70x squared over 2 plus 25x to the power 3 over 3. And then don't forget your plus C. Okay. Now I'm going to substitute the point. I'm going to substitute the point 1 and 7 over 15. Okay. And if I substitute it, don't forget that this is X and this is Y. Okay, so in the place of y, I'm going to say 7 over 15 equals 49.1 minus, I can simplify this already to 35, 1 squared. I am going to leave this one first because it's going to give me otherwise an extraction and it's going to be 1 to the power 3 plus C. Okay, and if I substitute that, okay, 7 over 15, um, yes, I'm going to say minus 49 plus that 35, I'm taking to the other side of the equation, um, minus 25 over 3, and that will give me value of C. I think just press it on your calculator. So 7 ABC 15 minus 49 plus 35 minus 25 abc3 and that will give me an answer of um, negative so therefore c is negative 21 and 13 over 15 so i'm going to say the final answer the final answer I'm going to even put it in red. So therefore, y is equal to 49x minus 35x squared plus 25 over 3, x to the power of 3, and then that value of c. It's actually very, very easy.